Okay, so in the last several videos, we've talked about selecting elements and how do we get those elements? We get them by using these three methods, which we've talked about extensively. So we can kind of take a break from these methods now. We can kind of move on. But now we're actually going to start changing content. We've changed the CSS styles, but now we're actually going to replace content. And so how do we do that? Well, we can use that with the inner HTML property, which we're gonna talk about in this video. That's one of the ways that we can actually replace the content itself. So we're actually gonna use the same exact code we used in the last video, but we're gonna alter it a little bit. What I did here was I just changed this a little bit. I just said hit submit for some new text. I put in some text here in our first paragraph, and I put in some text in our second paragraph. And what we want to do is actually completely replace this text. So what we want to do is when we hit this button, we want this actually to say new text one, and we want this to say new text two. So let's bounce over to our JavaScript code that we used in the last video. And you can see here, we're doing exactly what we did in the last video. We're using the get elements by class name to get our elements. And again, we're going by class name. We have two elements, and then we have to specify the node for each. So that's all going to stay the same, but we're not going to change the CSS styles now. So we're going to get rid of these. What we want to do is specify inner HTML here, and that allows us to write new content to our paragraph element. And this is a property. It's not a method. It's actually just a property of our object, our paragraph object. So what we're going to type in here is inner HTML, and then we need to assign a value which is going to be our new string that we want to write out. And we're going to say new text one. And then let's just copy and paste this in here. And now we're going to say new text two for our second paragraph. And let's go ahead and run this. And if we hit the submit button, we get our new content, which in this case is text. So that's what we're doing here. We are writing out completely new content using the inner HTML property. Now in this video, we just wrote out the text, but there actually is a way just to read the content and we'll do that in the next video. See you guys then.